Hey there awesome art students, this is Michael Tonis. Um, we're drawing some uh, useful 3D block letter words and uh, they work great for signs and here's something you could put on your door. We're gonna write the word welcome. So let's do a uh, loose 3DW here. We'll draw a line and we'll kick down and up. Draw a line, kick down and up. And we'll draw another line and we'll kick way down. Come way down on that one. Kick over, over a little bit, and then we'll kick up in there like that. And that's our W. So we can go back now and clean that up a bit. Strengthen those lines. And let's give that a 3D effect, okay? So uh, kick an angle off of these corners like that. And we'll go ahead and shade these areas in. You don't need to do the whole thing totally dark. You can leave some, some lighter areas which kind of give the uh, illusion that light's bouncing off the side of the letter. You can see it doesn't have to be perfect to look cool. There we go, W. All right, now the E, let's have that tuck behind here a little bit. And then we're just going to draw an E, not worrying about these being perfectly straight because this is a, a loose 3D block letter. Now we'll go with our angles here. It's going to connect up in there like that. It's going to come out a little bit more like that and like that. We're going to fill in that gap right there. Just like that. W E. Next letter up. You guessed it. It's the L. So I want the L to sit next to the E because uh, an L isn't very thick and it's not going to tuck up really well. So I'm just going to draw a line next to it here and uh, do something like this. Let's see. Like that. And draw our angles. And let's see, we'll work out the bottom there. And now this, this is going to come back in there. So we draw our line back inside there and we shade that in. What we can do is we can put a little more darkness right where the E comes close to it. And then we shade the bottom. All right, there's the L. Now here's an opportunity, we don't want this gap to get too wide, so we want that C to connect in here. And uh, so I'm going to start the C right here. And I'm going to do something like that. And then I'm going to imagine it going through here, and then come back around here like that. And uh, cut this in, and this in. And we'll do the center part, right like that. All right, for the 3D effect on this, we need to find where the, the rotation on that or the curve changes direction, and it's right about there. And we'll just come down that far, and we'll kick it around like that. And here, also where the curve changes direction, come around like that. This one's easy, it's just an angle off of there, angle off of there. You can treat that as a little angle right there. And then fill that in. Might be a little bit right there. All right, the O, kind of a tough one. We don't want to crowd the C totally, so let's just try to draw a big curve here. And uh, I hope this gets to be pretty round. 
I'm not drawing it very large, so that helps me because I can just turn my wrist. If you're doing something larger, you may want to get some kind of a, some kind of a curved object to help you with that. Something to use as a template. Coming off of there. And in here, it'd be something like that right there. All right. And at any time, you can pause this video after each letter. And you can catch up. You may want to pre-sketch your letters just so that you don't run out of room. All right, I'm excited now to get to the M because we can use some straight lines now. The M is a lot like the W, just in reverse. Something like that. And do our 3D effect. And let's see here, it's going to come straight down to here. And if you don't get these angles quite right, that's why we're doing this kind of loose. Just come in and just make a correction because we're going to shade these edges. It gives you an opportunity to fix things up a bit. Oh, I forgot that one. It's going to be right like that. There we go. All right, we're down to one letter. And we have our welcome all done. So here, it's not going to look good crowded up under there. So with that 3D effect, we better just place the E off the side. And we're going to try to, to mimic that E, not make this too terribly wide. Something like that. And we can let that shadow, not shadow, but that 3D effect come back behind there. We're in the home stretch now. And there you have an awesome 3D word. Whoa, not quite done yet. There you have an awesome 3D word. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed this and other great words that you can draw here on the How to Draw and Paint channel. So uh, have fun drawing these 3D effect letters and check back with us. Subscribe if you can and you guys have a great day.